Welcome to the Rusted Garden Homestead. For 2022, I'm gonna be doing a couple update videos each month, just showing you how, what I planted or what I'm growing from other videos are doing. A lot of people have been asking, they just like to see updates of everything that I've been doing. So let's get started. What I'm doing now, January 22nd, is really getting my seed started. And I have videos really representing most of what you're gonna see here. So let's start right at the bottom. I got some perennial flowers, started, just did a video on that. And this is pretty much my setup. I will start the seeds just like that. I'll let them sit there for three days because not much germinates within three days. And then I get them under the grow lights. Now one of the questions, on day three or four. So one of the questions I get is, do these plants, A, B, or C, need light to germinate? Very few plants need light to germinate. And I keep saying, the reason I put them under here is not so they germinate, it's so that when they break the surface, they're hit by intense light. That's what you want. That develops nice, stocky, strong plants. If I were to let them just germinate down there, I miss germination. I don't get them under the lights for a day or so. After they germinate, they're going to get thin and, and kind of scraggly looking. So light is not for them to germinate. It's for them to germinate into. So this is pretty much everything that I'm doing. Started these about, actually I can tell you, and I'll tell you what I'm growing there. So I keep track of things like this. I just make 12 cells, 12 spaces in the grid, and I write down what's going on. So these were started on 1229. You can do the math. Today's the 22nd. And then just going across left to right, I have rosemary, three sages, oregano in the back to oregano and then that's thyme to the right that's mint and that's mint this is mint that i pressed into the surface slightly scratched in this is mint that i buried a quarter inch deep doing a little experiment so mint likes to be planted you know right on the surface and then over here i have lavender that was not stratified. I talked about it in another videos. I just did a flat, the one I actually showed you in the beginning of the video, of lavender that was put in a refrigerator for six weeks. You can see germination about 30 days later is not that great. So that's an experiment that I'm doing. Over here, I have my first wave of perennial flowers that went in. That went in on January 6th, and I have Bee Balm in the back, in the middle there is Painted Daisy. That's a Garden Delight tomatoes right there. That's for a video. It's too early to start tomatoes in my area. Blanket Flower on the right, and then down there in the front, Shasta Daisies, Dianthus in the middle, and then right here on the end is some more Blanket Flower. So I'm doing things in stages. My herbs and my perennial flowers are what I typically start a good 10 weeks, 12 weeks before they would go outside. Dropping down to the next level, this is my artichokes that I started on the 15th. Did a video on that. On the back, there's some celery, but that has not germinated yet. Here's another setup for a series that I'm doing for you know gardening for a family of four. So I have some tomato and eggplant going. It's too early for those, but I do set up uh, my videos by growing plants ahead of time so that you can sort of see them in real time or see them before real time actually so that you can see how to do this so when the time comes in my zone you know you're ready to go these are herbs from uh, Bentley seeds that I'm doing a test germination for dropping down here this is really cool I'll be doing a video on this these are sweet potatoes and you can see that they're starting to send up their greenery and that's what you make sweet potato slips out of so this year i added putting them on a heat mat trying to figure out the quickest and perfect way to really get your sweet potatoes to sprout these are not related to potatoes you don't do potatoes this way this is just for sweet potatoes and adding in the heat makes a difference i'll be doing a video on that on this level spin it around these are all my hot peppers that went in on let's just see on january 12th so it's been about 10 days and this room stays about 65 degrees fahrenheit they haven't germinated yet but they will the peppers would like to be on here that's about the only plant 
besides sweet potatoes that I put on a heat mat are the peppers. The peppers on a heat mat at 80 degrees Fahrenheit will germinate in about seven days. I do the hot peppers sooner because they tend to take longer to germinate and seem to grow more slowly. Coming down here, these are onions I started in the beginning of January. They're all doing really well. These are peas for a video. They're just starting to break the surface. They went in on January 19th. Down here, I have ginger. And I have complete videos on this from last year. I've had the best, I had the best harvest for ginger last year than I ever did. And it's because I started them just like this. I get them going and growing inside for a good two months, gives them that seven, eight months worth of growth from now inside for two months and then a good six months outside and they really develop nice rhizomes. I'll be doing a video on this again but these were started on January 11th and you can see they're starting to sprout in different areas. You can see a little bit mold but I talk about how to deal with that too. This is pretty much what I'm doing. Another kind of fun thing right over here these are Sarah's Galapagos Island tomatoes. I used to grow these all the time. These seeds are actually 10 years old and I just found them. They've been stored just like this, tightly sealed. I just started germinating, test germinating them. If you ever want to do that, just fold some seeds up in a wet paper towel, put them somewhere warm and see what happens. But I want to just hopefully do a video on showing how these germinate. But this is a wonderful variety that I forgot about. I want to bring it back and I'm going to see how well they germinate. Maybe I'll be um, selling some of those too if the germination goes well. These are paper cups. They're doing well. They do get beat up looking, but they're functional. Very green, not made of plastic. You can just plant this whole pot in here. I have a video on that. And I started some sweet peppers in here and jalapenos. Jalapenos grow more quickly than the other hot peppers. So this is all going to be peppers that I enjoy. So a lot of hot peppers, jalapenos, a lot of sweet banana. And this year I'm growing more of what I like for canning purposes. I'm going to be trying to live well off the garden this year and maybe just be adding in, well, definitely be adding in proteins that I buy at local farms and stuff like that. But this is what I'm doing. This is what's growing. Again, this is the setup for my grow light stations. Just a refresh if you're catching this for the first time. I like lumens at a 5,000 lumens value. That's the brightness of light. So look for 5,000 lumens, shop lights, white LEDs, 4,100 Kelvin to 6,500 Kelvin, and they work really well for transplants. We're not growing for flowers or fruit, just transplants. And then people ask me, you had a foil on top of there. So I lay foil across the top and it covers that gap in there and it does reflect some of the light back. So that's just a way to kind of capture the light that may just be escaping. It bounces back a little bit and it does make a bit of a difference. Thanks for watching. This is where I'm at as of January 22nd. And just look for the Rusted Garden updates. I will show you how plants are progressing from the videos that I've been doing. Thanks for watching.